a 15-year-old boy made national headlines when he refused to wrestle a girl. He defaulted in a match in the state championship tournament in Iowa, essentially giving up his chance to be state champion. Why did he do that? Well, that young man, Joel, and his father, Jamie, the Northrops, are joining me live this morning from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Gentlemen, thank you both for being here. And Joel, you tell us all, explain to us, why did you think it wasn't appropriate for you to wrestle a girl? Well, um, wrestling is a combat sport, and at times it, get vi it gets violent, and you get put in moves and holds that are compromising. And um, I just don't believe it's right that a boy and a girl um, should, in this manner, wrestle. So is it more so, it sounds like it's a combination, but we know wrestling can be an up-close and personal sport, if you will, and you have to get in all kinds of positions and touch each other in all kinds of places. Yeah. Is it more so that what it was, or you just didn't like the idea of a boy, you, having to maybe slam a girl on the mat in a violent way? Well, yeah, both those factors played into it. Now, to Dad here... Um, did you have any idea he was going to do this? I, I think this isn't his first time uh, actually refusing to, to, to have to wrestle a girl. So did you have any part of this or he's making this decision on his own? Well, we, we certainly left the decision up to Joel. Uh, this is something that Joel has, has stood by for quite a few years now. And um, we, you know, we gave him the opportunity and said, Joel, do what you feel is, is right. Do what you feel is the right choice to make in this particular situation and 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 so he certainly made his own decision now joel as well and i'm sure you heard it probably from some friends of yours and some people around the country have been talking about it now is there any part of you that just didn't want to stand the idea of possibly losing to that girl no that that didn't play into it i'm not taking anything away from cassie but um i wasn't really intimidated at all but I'd already made the decision just to not wrestle her. And you, you mentioned her name, Cassie. I'm going to let our viewers hear. She had kind of a response and talked about, uh, I guess, maybe some of the disappointment uh, in not being able to wrestle. We'll listen to that and let our viewers hear it, and I'll ask you about it on the other side. I feel like just because I'm a girl and wrestler, like, I, don't, I feel like people should treat me the same way. Like, the fact that I'm doing the same sport as them, that I'm doing the same things as them, like, I don't feel like there should be much difference there. And Joel, once again, back to you, wrestling is a big deal in Iowa. And it's unfortunate they don't yeah. have a, a girls-only tournament there. Some places around the country they do. But do you think that's unfortunate and that shouldn't be the case where girls are required? They don't have a choice but to wrestle the boys. Yeah, um, of all sports, uh, wrestling especially, I don't think it should be a co-ed sport. I believe um, if girls do want to wrestle, that they should wrestle other girls. And that boys, if they do wrestle, should wrestle other boys. And Mr. Northrop, to I, you, I, oh, I sorry. Think, oh, forgive me there, Mr. Northrop, think, to, uh, to you once again. Is this? Uh, did you raise your son? Is this kind of a religious? Um, a kind of a, a he made this on kind of a, a religious uh, background that he has that he didn't want to do this. Is, is that kind of where this is coming from, Mr. Northrop? Well, T.J. Certainly, faith plays a factor. Um, you know, even though there's no uh, specific scripture that addresses wrestling with girls. There's the biblical Christian principle of treating women with respect and dignity and, and not looking at them as objects to be defeated on the wrestling mat or to be, you know, in, in some cases groped or, or slammed or, you know. And Joel, to you again, uh, to wrap up, um, have you ever wrestled a girl in your career? Well, uh, actually, back in um, third grade, I, uh, I wrestled a girl, but uh, I didn't feel, feel right about it. And um, after that, I made a decision just to never wrestle a girl again. And were you ever able to talk to Cassie after you uh, defaulted and stepped away from that match? Did you talk to her? Um, no, actually, I didn't. I did talk to her dad, though, and he came up and he supported what I did. He said um, it was 100% my choice. All right. Well, you have, I think you're a sophomore now, so you've got a couple more years in high school. I'm going to leave it on this question. Let's say next year or the year after your senior year, let's just say your senior year, you go through the state championship tournament, you get to the finals, 
And to win the state championship, and for you to be state champion, you would have to wrestle a girl to win it. Would you wrestle her, or would you step back and default and forfeit once again and give up the chance to be state champion? Yep, I would give up the chance. I wouldn't wrestle a girl. Whether it's finals or any other meet or districts, I wouldn't wrestle a girl. Well, Joel, you seem like a young man who uh, is certainly standing by his beliefs. A lot of people applauded the decision you made. Again, it's unfortunate that the kids are put in the position that boys and girls have to wrestle there in your state and many other places. But uh, congratulations on the decision. Uh, and, Dad, congratulations to you on your, on your son there. Seems like a, a good young man. And good luck down the road in your wrestling career. Thank you very much. Thank All you. right. Thanks so much.